Hello everyone and welcome to an overview of the Timer Creator script for After Effects. Today I'll be teaching you how to set up the script, how to use it, and just a bunch of the features that come with it. So once you buy it, you come. it comes with this zip file here uh, called Timer Creator. All you have to do to open that is just unzip it. I'm going to use WinRAR just because I have that. And then I'm going to open the folder and it contains two things. It contains our script file of course and it also contains the readme. Although you don't have to look at the readme it's obviously recommended. This this video serves as kind of a video version of the readme however the readme includes some information that I won't be going as into depth about so I always recommend that you look at the readme because it's important. So this is what the readme looks like and it just has a description on the top it's compat what it's compatible with, how to install and run it which I'm going to be going over, some prerequisites, uh, what everything in it does, how to use it, and just settings and stuff which I'll be going over. So to install the script you can place the script file anywhere but I'm just going to put in the default location of where you should put it. That's in your After Effects version, Support Files, Scripts. I'll just paste it in there. And then if I load up an After Effects project, I have here two, uh, two footages. And one of them is a Rubik's Cube Solve. And another one is Assuming Race. So to run the script, we just go to File scripts run script file and then if you're in your location you'll notice you don't see it immediately you need to click on javascript binary file and now it appears and we can open it and this is the UI so firstly it's going to say what version you have uh, and it also has comp recognition so it will recognize all the comps and so we'll just start with the swimming video and then we have start timer at current time indicator or end timer at current in time indicator what this is is a feature that allows you to create the timer based on either the start of the race or the end of the race or whatever the timed event is for example in this case I have the end of the race selected with my current time indicator so I'm gonna click end timer this feature is very great and we implemented it because it allows for a lot more flexibility when using the script. For example, if you have a video of a race and the beginning part of the race isn't on camera directly but the ending is, then you can still get an accurate timing and an accurate video. So that's just a very important feature we added. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the proper time. 27 seconds 94 and there are a lot of fonts you can choose from set to default Calibri because it looks great and doesn't scale strangely or anything there are four text position options set default to bottom left because it usually is the best place uh, however you can change it later as you will see you can also add a drop shadow or do a soft start and a soft start just fades the timer in. So we'll click start and it will create our timer. If we go to the beginning here you can see once it starts the timer fades in and goes. If we go to the end of the timer then it stops and holds the time. Now there is one awesome feature that we've added that allows you to have some more customization outside of the automated processes that happen in the script. That is this text adjustments null that will be placed in layer one. This allows you to adjust both the counting up text and the finish hold text. You can move the text right and left, up and down, you can change the scale, and you can also change the color. And this will apply to both of these texts. So I'm going to go ahead and run it one more time. This time I'm going to go through the 2x2 two two solves, which starts from the beginning. So the current time indicator is set to the beginning. So we'll select our comp, 
you can see it now includes the timer comp but I want to do start timer and 5 seconds 26 milliseconds and this time we'll we'll choose something different uh, LCD it's a good font that allows you to it's kind of clock like so we'll do bottom right LCD we'll take off the drop shadow and soft start and we'll click start and now you can see we have our timer it sharply comes in and it's going and then once it's finished it will stop and hold. As you can see in some situations the drop shadow definitely helps but uh, as you as you know you can change the color if needed or whatever and it will change universally. So that is it for the demo of the timer creator. Please go check it out at Video Hive description below and if you have any questions or requests for future scripts or this script uh, for updates, feel free to ask those as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.